So hi there guys, how are you today? My name is Durga Diana, if you don't know. Um, I am your tarot card reader and this is Empathic Moon 777. I want to welcome you to this energy update for the Twin Flame Collective that is associated with our channel. I want to welcome the new subscribers to the channel. I want to welcome you and I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, in all the different ways, I've been getting some comments and feedback and I just want to give thanks and uh, I see you out there and um, I hope everything is doing well for you. There has been, in this reading here, I was kind of shocked because this is the first time I've ever seen like so many devil cards. So I don't really know what that is about, but there is, uh, I've seen three of them in this reading and I don't think I've ever seen something like that before. So uh we're gonna see what's what's going on in this energy check-in this is like um i'm using a concept from i'm like i'm indigenous right so um like we have this concept uh um, what makes a whole person and there's also that feminine and masculine right but i i also want to acknowledge um like this indigenous concept and i have to recognize uh it because it's part of the culture and uh, I don't want to I don't want it to be uh, culturally like that appropriated um, so it has to be acknowledged so I want to acknowledge that and uh, this is looking at mind heart environment physical and spiritual and so those four aspects make up a whole person and so that's part of that so I have that here represented in this reading it's a uh, it's a medicine wheel concept um, and that I wanted to acknowledge that. So I'm from the Anishinaabe Nation, um, and we, our territory, uh, we have we have a big territory in in North America. It spans from Canada to the United States. So I just want to acknowledge that. Um, but this concept here is an indigenous concept, and I need to acknowledge that in a good way. Um, so I just wanted to mention that and then um, we're going to look at divine masculine, divine feminine. So now that could be your uh, inner masculine, inner feminine. Take it how it resonates. Take the energies, how they apply to your situation and um, take what resonates and leave what doesn't and follow your intuition. So this is the energy update. This is the main energies coming through related to each other in the thoughts, in the heart, in the environment, and spiritually. So it's not going to resonate with everybody. So just please keep that in mind. I just want to give all those um, those uh, disclaimers here. Um, so we're going to get started. So this is just the check-in. And if there's more cards that need to come out, uh, we'll see. Because I, I just went with that. And we'll see where this reading goes. So if this reading resonates, don't forget to leave a like and, or, you know, you might be a part of this collective. You, you can, you're welcome to subscribe. Um, definitely if it resonates, right? So you're invited, you're welcome, you know what I mean? And we are, we're, we seem to be growing. So, um, I, I don't know where this is going to go, but, um, uh, we're, we're going together, right? So um, I just wanted to mention that in a good way. So thank you guys again. Let's get started on the on the reading here. So uh, we're just going to look at the um, head, heart, environment, and spiritually. So let's look at the Divine Feminine's main energy here in the headspace, what her reading is about. So uh, some of these cards here are in the reverse, so I might need to go to the book because of... Uh, because of the, some of the reversals might have different meanings with these different decks that I'm using. But anyways, we have here two of swords and the authority figure here. The authority figure is the divine masculine. Number four, that's the divine masculine energy. This authority here is having authority. You see here, this person is, is looking like they have that authority, right? So there is some kind of uh, indecision here. There is some kind of impasse here. Uh, there is some type of uh, struggle uh, or refusing to see in connection to some type of authority figure. This could be the divine masculine. This is what the reading is about. And it's in connection to uh, disharmony. All right. We have the star in reverse in connection to a magician. So disharmony in connection to the magician in the mirror. 
Uh, this could be about manifestation. So there is something going on here. Uh, the star card in reverse, there could be some kind of uh, wishes that were not met uh, in connection to manifestation. This could be some type of disharmony. This could be some type of uh, sickness, uh, maybe some kind of like um, some kind of uh, something. You see here, this feminine here is upside down. There's some she's touching her heart, right? And it's connected to the star. So there's some kind of wishes here. Maybe these wishes not being met in connection to the magician in the mirror. This magician in the mirror is having to do with manifestation and utilizing all your gifts and tools to create something. So there's something here taking place and it's causing some type of um, impasse or some kind of mental conflict where you're refusing not to go forward in connection to this authority figure. This is what the reading is about. This is what the reading is about. So in connection to these energies right here, Divine Feminine's main energy uh, in her headspace towards the Divine Masculine is, we have Seven of Cups here. So Seven of Cups here, you see here, there's a Masculine here. There's different cups. They're upside down. Um, you don't know what's underneath the cup here. Some of them might have a slithering snake. This one looks like there's a bat wing. Uh, another one looks like there's a... Um, uh, there's a pathway uh, that's that the ocean is there. The pathway is coming out through one of those. There's a ladder. This person doesn't know, right? They're not sure. They're like, okay, I'm not too sure which one is the right one. There's so many different things in each cup. I'm not too sure what I'm going to choose. And uh, it's in connection to solitude, all right? This is about um, being alone, uh, having a time out. Um, you know, just uh, being alone. Solitude is you're on your own. Uh, this could be about reading a book. This is about uh, sitting down, maybe feeling some type of way in the solitude as well, wanting to figure out something it seems here, uh, maybe trying to figure out something in connection to some kind of uh, research, some kind of book here. Um, and there is it like this desert in the background, like there's something like uh, something that's like it's a, a seclusion type of energy but in that seclusion like it's it's not very comfortable because you have that uh, desert type of feeling it's kind of dry it's you're alone uh when you're in the desert like it's not a very comforting feeling to be out there in the desert for a very long time not only that you got those mountains there so there's there is something you know in the environment that it's it's showcasing something very not easy in this solitude. There maybe is some type of research going on in connection to this solitude, and uh, there is something here with confusion here. Uh, it's related to seven of wands to second chakra archangel Ariel. This is all about passion here, and then we have another seven here. This is about being guarded in connection to your passions in connection to your expression, your passion, um, in connection to um, how you want to move forward, um, how you, this is a, how you want to express uh, through your creativity, um, something like that, uh, and being guarded in connection to that. This person here is guarded. They're inside of a bubble. You know, they're just wanting to, you know, kind of, this is like a leave me alone type of energy. I'm trying to find my peace type of energy. All right. I have a bubble around me. I have this bubble around me and, uh, you know, you can't go through me. You can, you can put your, uh, wands on, on like towards me, but I'm, I'm just guarded right now. All right. Through this, uh, peace, through this meditation, like this could be about that in relation to, uh, passion. Okay, so um, so what I get here in the mind here, it's like really about um, there is a there is a strong energy about solitude, but in that solitude there is a guarded energy in the environment. There seems to be the environment is not very um, comforting, um, and not only that, it's it's there is a confusion there, not knowing what to choose. Um, and, and being guarded over your passions. That's what's happening in the mind. Uh, in the heart space here, we have, um, 
Okay, so her reading about her reading and her reading is about discontent and boredom. Uh, it's clarified by King of Wands. So this is a masculine energy, right? So this is this is the energy about taking action, taking leadership. Um, you see here you have the lion in the background. So like he's stronger than the lion kind of thing because he's in front of the lion. The lion's looking at him. Uh, so he has that um, he has that courage there. He has that power. He has that crown. His fire is lit and he's ready to go and take on anything here. So it's about taking action and leadership in connection to feeling discontent and bored. Maybe there's a feeling about, you know, just like things, maybe discontent with something going on. You see here, there's a beautiful background here, but there is a there is a focus on something that is causing discontent and boredom. There is some kind of darkness here, but look at that beautiful rainbow surrounding this person coming through them through that light and look at that beautiful background there so there is something kind of dark that there is a uh, maybe looking at this is the four of cups like you're losing something out something like that but taking action in connection to that in the heart space it's about a death and rebirth in connection to this door to healing i'm going to look up what this is in the in the um uh in the in the reversed it says here, you may be feeling stuck where your personal intentions are concerned. Self-mastery and discipline may be hard to achieve right now. Or specific plans for personal change may be blocked. So this is about feeling blocked with your intentions. This is about um, maybe uh, self-mastering yourself, dis disciplining yourself uh, is, is the key right here. But there is some kind of personal change where you feel like you're being blocked. This is about that death and that rebirth of that. So taking action of, of that and the transformation of feeling blocked. This is the energy in the heart space. So uh, here's our first devil's energy here. So in the heart, this is the main energy in the heart space towards divine masculine. We have here the devil card. There is a restriction here in connection to the firm foundation. So she may be feeling some kind of bound energy. She may be feeling restricted. She may be feeling like there's something maybe toxic, all right, getting in the way. Something, um, you know, this, this, this is bothering this person here. Like it's causing havoc. It's causing uh, a destruction. It's causing somebody to feel bound to perhaps pain, bound to something that's negative. Um, and, um, this person is like a puppet here. So there, it's almost like the, the, the strings are being played a certain way and that person is following it. It's a restrictive energy. It's a bound energy. And it's like, they feel like they don't have any way out of it. Right. Cause per that person has their hands over their head. It's in connection to a firm foundation. This is the base chakra here. Firm foundation is sta safety, feeling safe in the world, stability. Um, this is about, um, you know, having some type of consistency, stability, a firm foundation, having, you know, not feeling like it's all rocky. It's the road is nicely paved and smooth and strong and stable. And, uh, you know, the things that need to be there will be there kind of thing. So there's a restriction there. All right, and there's also this five of wands here taking place. Five of wands is an energy of conflict and there's other people here, other people, you know, shooting their wands all over the place, trying to get to the flame here. Meanwhile, you know, everybody here is connected, right? But that energy is not there. They're wanting to, you know, compete with each other, get to the top, not, not to work with each other, but... One person has to get to the top, all right? So this is a conf conflicting energy here. And this gets in the way of the Four of Wands. And it's associated with the man holding a coin, the masculine. This is the masculine. This is that firm foundation here, right? With that coin. Uh, there's stability here. There's giving from here. But there is conflict here with other people here. And there's some kind of toxic energy. This is the main energy in her heart space. All right. 
So, um, let's see here. So, uh, let's see in the environment here. We have um, suffering and silence in the environment. It's about that. It's about coming together in a celebration, all right? Coming together in a celebration, forming some type of bond, all right? Um, a celebration, three of cups in connection to suffering and silence. And uh, something about the intuition regarding cornucopia here. So uh, this is something like um, uh, in the environment, there's something, uh, this reading is about the intuition, some kind of knowing about happiness, some kind of knowing about um, happiness. I'm going to say the happily ever after here. There's something in the intuition regarding uh, a happily ever after and um, coming together in a celebration uh, through this energy of the Knight of Swords, which, which is the suffering in silence. All right, so um, I'm just going to see this Three of Cups too. I feel like I want to say third party as well. This could also be something to, associated with third party as well. Uh, in connection to um, suffering in silence, all right? So let's see what's happening as the main energy here. We have in the environment for the Divine Feminines in the Collective, we have the Four of Pentacles and Reverse and the Base Chakra. So two chakras energies have come, in, have come through for Divine Feminine. There is a strong emph emphasis on the base chakra. There is a strong um, emphasis on the base chakra, which is all about safe, safety, stability, feeling uh, safe in the world, feeling stable, feeling secure. Um, so this four of pentacles in, re in reversed, usually four of pentacles is about an energy about holding on. I think in the reverse, it's more extreme. Uh, it's like um, a really, um, I almost want to say like, uh, like it's an obsession almost kind of thing. Uh, it says here hoarding. So yeah, that's the obsession part. Hoarding, um, lack mentality, placing too much value on money. I need to be more charitable, coveting. All right. So there's some kind of extremes here with this four of pentacles in reversed when it comes to the base chakra, all right? There could be something that is um, maybe some kind of lack mentality, all right? That you're wanting to just hold on very strongly, all right? Or this is like hoarding, okay? Something like you're holding, you're, ho you're holding on to everything. You're, you're not wanting to let it go, all right? Uh, in connection to the base chakra, base chakra is all about your safety and stability. Okay, and then it's associated with the uh, new ideas, new ways, communication, investigation with this door to romance. So uh, finding new ways and uh, creative ways, investigating about this door to romance. What is this door to romance? Uh, what does this door, door to romance mean? All right, so um, how, do, how do I get there or what does it mean? Um, like looking at the different um, ideas or creative ways that is related to this door to romance, all right? So spiritually here, we're going to look at the energy, what the reading is about for Divine Feminine. We have here partnerships and alliances, and then we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. We have Archangel Gabriel, Fifth Chakra in the reversed, and then the Nine of Pentacles in reversed. So there's a strong emphasis here that there is some kind of lack here with the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is something that is having to do with your, something to do with foundation, something to do with abundance, something to do with um, just the your environment and um, the different things that are that are on your in your environment connected to your foundation. It's also connected to self love and self care with the Queen of Wands in reversed here. 
Um, there's something here that is associated with the self. Um, there may be some type of energy of lack. Um, and it's associated with um, partnerships and alliances. And it's associated with some kind of um, block in communication. Um, I'm just going to actually check the, the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, for a second here. All right. So Archangel Gabriel is usually about the expression and speaking your truth. But uh, here in the reverse, it's a card indicating a block in the throat center. Yes, something in your history may have caused you to shut down, but it's important now to break through that unhealthy pattern. Or you may currently be in a situation where the free sharing of your ideas, opinions or feelings is thwarted. Yeah, so it's like you're not able to express yourself uh, fully. There may be some type of block. It could be connected to something in the past. Uh, and it's associated with self-expression here. All right, so um, something instability. All right, um, this could be about th that expression of that. All right, uh, something blocked in connection to that this energy here um and then we have queen of wands in reverse so there's something um there's some kind of instability here with the queen of wands in reverse here queen of wands jealousy it says here being afraid to take a risk not being totally honest with yourself an optimal time to build your self-confidence and to let go of what other people think waning passions so um yeah it that building confidence here i i feel that's what i wanted to say but i wasn't coming out that building confidence that self-care and self-love uh in connection to partnerships and alliances so uh spiritually here with these energies these very challenging energies here her her main energy towards Divine Masculine is the Queen of Cups and Passion Ignited. So I'm getting positive vibes from here. So there's a lot of like craziness here, but she is in a good energy here with this Queen of Cups and Passion Ignited. She's utilizing her heart space. She's in her heart. Fantastic and wonderful. Uh, she's opening herself up. Uh, she's attuning to her emotions. She's balancing her emotions she's opening herself up to this new beginning this passion ignited all right and it's associated with the ace of cups so we have two aces here and it's offering love towards indecision all right so spiritually that's what she's working on or this is what her focus is this is the main energy this could be her values her beliefs this is what she's working on spiritually when it comes to all of that uh, harsh energy there that was coming through all right ace of cups is about offering love she's opening herself up and attuning with this energy of the queen of cups for a new start and offering love towards an indecision this could be about self-love as well with this ace of cups here so we're going to look at the Divine Masculine's uh, energy check right now. And we're going to look at the headspace, what the reading is about. We have Fourth Chakra, Archangel Raphael. We have Six of Cups, Light, and the Four of Pentacles. So this is about, um, you know, having a return. This is about a soul connection. This is about having fond memories with this person. Um, through the heart center and then holding on to this energy of light so let's see what his main energy is towards divine feminine in the headspace we have um knight of wands and woman holding a heart so there's a very passionate energy here in his mind okay in his thoughts in his mind it's like knight of wands like passion towards wanting to charge Look at that the volcano erupting there. Like that is a lot of passion there. The, the volcano is erupting. The earth is erupting like this flame. So that's really, really big, right? And here you have this knight of wands right in the middle of it, ready to take on anything kind of thing. 
so um fully armored and everything so that's what his energy is when it comes to the woman holding a heart so i'm getting there it's strong strong passion in the mind connected to the woman of the holding a heart he i'm seeing that he sees you in that energy of the woman holding a heart sharing that love and kindness and um being that uh heart centered feminine um that is something that i feel if he's in this energy of passion definitely i feel um there is a there is a passion there for the woman holding a heart in his thoughts so in the thoughts he would go directly towards the woman holding a heart and uh he would take action as the emperor there you go Action as the emperor, leadership as the emperor, integrity as the emperor regarding material harvest. In his mind, this is the main energy and the thoughts coming through. Material harvest is all about the fruits of your labor. This is your wish fulfillment. This is all about um, receiving what you want, you know, receiving, working, getting it, you know, abundance, um, taking action in connection to that. In the heart center, we have, what is the reading about? Excuse me. Uh, financial constraints, number 13 in the, res in the reversed. So uh, financial constraints is about coming out of finance, financial constraints. All right. This could be about an increase in money coming your way. This could be about previous constrictions have been broken. And it's about going within in connection to this financial constraints in the heart center. And it's also connected to some kind of um, uh, lack of power, lack of uh, like some kind of uh, lack of willpower. All right. In the sacrificing. All right. So this could be about money matters. All right. In the heart center, going within about that and um, like not having the power to release that or sacrifice that. Um, and now it's this energy of financial constraints in the reverse, meaning maybe uh, going within to find ways to come out of that. Okay, so this is in the heart. So let's see what's going on uh, in the main energy here. So when it comes to that here, his main energy is the Queen of Pentacles, Seven Chakra, Archangel Uriel. There is some kind of alignment taking place on top of the head. There may be a connection to spirit. There may be some kind of direct connection or there is some type of alignment happening. There is this Queen of Pentacles energy here in the upright, which is about stability, which is about, uh, you know, having that confidence with that peacock there. Um, there is some type of pride as well. There is some type of abundance energy. There is some type of stability energy. And uh, it's related to the Seven of Pentacles and hope. So this is about your investment, the hard work that you put into, um, you know, what you wanted, the seeds that you planted, the hard work you did to uh, put the work in, the effort in, the time, the energy. Now you have your garden here, you have your tree, and now this person here is collecting their pentacles from the tree. So it's about that investment, right? And now um, gathering those pentacles in connection to an energy of hope. All right, so the main energy in the heart space is that there is some kind of alignment taking place in the heart center. All right, there is some kind of stability and um, there is some kind of grounding, um, maybe perhaps with the Queen of Pentacles, uh, the stable and grounded feminine. All right, maybe there's a, an alignment happening in the heart that he's feeling uh, regarding this investment in connection to hope. Okay, let's look at the environment now. So in the environment here, his Divine Masculine's reading is about coming out of anxiety. Seven of Wands in reversed. And then we have here Triumph in the Devil card. So here is the second Devil card that came through. This is what the reading is about. So, um... Maybe it's not that bad as I thought it was. <laughs> um, okay, so seven of wands in reverse here. Okay, let me just... Seven of wands. Okay, come on. 
Okay. Seven of Wands in the reverse here is uh, childish energy, being childish. All right. So something about childish uh, in connection to actions and beliefs, like defending your actions and, and beliefs, being in a childish way in connection to that, um, being childish in connection to standing strong in your convictions, all right? And this is like uh, related to coming out of anxiety, so an energy of coming out of anxiety. Maybe there was some kind of childish energy with, um, you know, trying to defend yourself uh, relating to coming out of anxiety and uh, this restriction and the devil's energy related to triumph, like charging forward uh, in triumph. So that's what the reading is about. Let's see what's going on in the environment in connection to this. All right. So that wasn't that bad. This is what the reading is about. So let's see. What divine masculine's energy is so he's healing now so in the environment he's healing for a strategy he's healing to uh find a new way and uh he's working on this he's working on this um eight of pentacles on this rejoice and celebration all right so coming together in a in a good way in a celebratory way uh in a sharing way in a way that's uh in a high vibrational way um healing uh for for a way to do that and uh you know working on this energy to have a celebration all right that's that's what his main energy is towards divine feminine and then the last part of the reading and we might go into some other reading we'll see um, spiritually, divine masculine's main energy. I think this is actually pretty good. I don't want to make it too long. Um, so his reading here, uh, spiritually, uh, what, what this reading is about spiritually is about the empress in connection to the contract in reverse. So maybe some kind of, um, you know, something didn't go right in the contract kind of thing all right number six uh something didn't go right in the contract uh maybe something didn't go um uh, maybe ending of a previous connection okay maybe uh an ending of a previous connection or where a future commitment is concerned all right so it's in relation to the empress uh, if this could be the empress in the future uh future commitment or this could be an ending of a previous connection with the Empress. And uh, the Five of Pentacles in reverse and emotional withdrawal. So Five of Pentacles in the reverse is about like victimhood, victim mentality. Uh, like coming, uh, feeling left out in the cold. All right. Um, Five of Pentacles in reverse is ignoring help that is being offered in relation to uh, emotional withdrawal, feeling ostracized in connection to emotional withdrawal. So, um, like, there's a little bit of a threatened type of energy with this emotional withdrawal, maybe feeling a little bit guarded um, when it comes to the future of the Divine Feminine or whether this was about uh, an ending of a previous connection with the uh, Divine Feminine. So let's see what this, uh, his main energy is in connection to this here, um, spiritually. Spiritually here, we have the three of wands. So spiritually, he's uh, focused on this energy, main energy towards divine feminine is three of wands appreciation. So he's looking towards the sea to, for the ship to come in. The ship is involving appreciation. All right, so bringing in appreciation, waiting for that appreciation to come through, waiting for progress, progress in connection to appreciation. This is about feeling in gratitude for everything that you have, um, like the things that you have around you at that now moment. Um, this is like progress in connection to that. So what I feel is like being in that energy of appreciation for the progress to come through for that ship to come in kind of thing. 
and uh, it's related to a missed opportunity. All right, missed opportunity uh, with this toxic energy here, the temptation. This is the uh, te uh, devil card here. So um, this missed opportunity is like feeling like you missed out on something. You know, it's not going to come back kind of thing. This person here is looking at this cup here like it's they're, It's almost like they're wishing and then the universe is there and they have that cup there right in front of them. But it's like this person can't see it. And um, this, this missed opportunity here is associated inside of a toxic energy here. It's associated with uh, some kind of temptation. All right. Some kind of temptation, some kind of... Um, uh, like you, you're touching something, like you're not supposed to touch it, you're tempted to go there, but you shouldn't be going there kind of thing, all right, and uh, there is some kind of being in gratitude uh, in connection to a progress here, so that's what's happening uh, spiritually, okay, so um, let's see, uh, okay, Let's find out uh, what is next for the Divine Masculine. Angels, helpers, and spirit, what is next? What's going to happen next for the Divine Masculine? What's going to be happening next for the Divine Masculine that you could share? Okay. Okay. Show that you care. Can I get another one? Let two become one. All right, and need and necessity is the bottom. Okay, and what is gonna be happening next for the Divine Feminine when it comes to the Divine Masculine? What's gonna be happening next? You were born to create, okay. Know your power see the signs all right okay and we're gonna get some clarifiers here let's see what these situations are what does this show that you care have to do with okay let two become one what does this have to do with There it is. Know your power. What does this have to do with? You were born to create. Hmm. Okay, let's get a... Okay. All right, so let's clarify, show that you care. Thank you. Five of Swords, let two become one. Hold on. Know your power. You were born to create. Queen of Swords. Triggers. Sold. Pretending.
searching. Searching. Thank you. Okay, so we have here King of Pentacles, bottom of the deck here, bottom of the deck here, commitment. Okay, so this reading is about for the both of you here. Oh no, it's not for the both of you. Um, okay, so let's look at Divine Feminines here. So for her, what's happening at next uh, is related to your investment with seeing the signs. So this is about healing, looking for the signs, searching, going within. Um, and it's related to um, the King of Pentacles and a commitment. So maybe this is about the stable and grounded masculine in connection to a commitment. This could be about a commitment or this could be about uh, the masculine in this energy of the King of Pentacles. Strong, grounded, uh, committed, stable. Um, firm foundation, um, like it's viewing and looking at the sign, you're investing in that. So this is what the reading is about here. Sorry if I'm talking fast. I feel like um, I need to. <laughs> uh, okay, I want to slow it down. So Divine Feminine. So what's happening for her next in connection to that? Looking for the signs her investment in finding the signs, looking for the signs in relation to a commitment with the King of Pentacles. This could be her commitment with the mind masculine, or this could be this commitment energy in general with the stable and grounded masculine energy that she's searching about or learning about or looking at the signs. There is an investment there. So basically what's happening for her next is she's going to continue to heal here, Four of Swords, uh, Four of Swords, healing, taking a pause, resting in connection to knowing your power. So healing to know more of her power, uh, relating to uh, this energy of pretending. So this pretending can mean anything, but this pretending caused an energy of walking away from things that are not serving you. So this could have been her walking away from things that are no longer serving her because there was this type of uh, pretending energy, all right? Somebody being fake, somebody not, uh, maybe somebody living beyond their means. Um, but there is a walking away and there's a healing to come into knowing what her power is more, knowing more about herself. Uh, we also have here the Queen of Swords. You were born to create. So there's going to be a truth here, a strong truth that she's going to hold. She's going to carry that truth. Um, she's going to maybe communicate that. She's going to be in this very strong energy of the mind uh, when it's related to um, you were born to create. So there may be some type of manifestation happening. There may be a very strong truth in connection to that. Um, and it's related to going within all right, there's some kind of searching online. All right, there's something happening on the internet where there's getting some type of info and uh, it's related to going within here. So we have here, see the signs is going within in this healing. So there's a lot of introspection. There's a lot of going within. And there's a lot of like healing and um, just continuing on uh, her personal journey is what I'm getting here. For the Divine Masculine here, what's next for the Divine Masculine here? His reading is about observing this need and necessity. So looking at, you know, this yin and yang energy, the sun and the moon, the balance, all right? What is the, what is the need and what is the necessity uh, when it comes to an observation, when it comes to a planning? And it's related to... Um, uh it was related to this commit oh yeah related to this commitment uh with this king of pentacles energy so let's see what's next for divine masculine and then we'll cut the reading um okay so there's going to be some type of uh show that you care all right show that you care in connection to conflict all right or there may be some type of conflict when it comes to showing that you care all right so that's what's going on 
conflict is like ego energy the five of swords is like an ego energy um and it's related to triggers all right so things that are triggering you uh causing some type of there's unhealed wounds that are causing this triggering um and it's associated with justice all right so you know having that karmic justice balancing the scales there is some type of triggering there or it has to do with um the triggers could be about this justice or the triggers could be about um something else and this triggers could be about having justice all right so there is some kind of swords energy there there may be some type of ego when it comes to showing that you care uh, or there may be some type of conflict there all right and this is associated with that need and necessity and that observation and that planning um the second one that's coming through here we have king of wands and let two become one so this is this is, seems more positive here. We have, uh, if it's if it's the King of Wands, this is about the masculine taking some type of action and leadership with this to let two become one energy. So this is like allowing. Uh, I feel like this has to do with the universe allowing the the masculine and the feminine to become one. This could be within himself, or this could be in the external taking some type of action and leadership in connection to that. And it's related to sold, right? Moving physical location change. So this could be about moving somewhere, going to a different location. And uh, it's associated with coming out, coming out of pain, all right? Coming out of some pain here. So this is um, what's next for the Divine Masculine. Please let me know if this reading resonates by liking, commenting, sharing, or subscribing to the channel. Thank you guys so much. If you've watched the video all the way, definitely let me know by giving a thumbs up on the, on the channel. And there's different services we offer, personal readings, crystals, oracle cards. You can send me some information through email info at empathicmoon777.com or I'll have the links listed below in the description box below. All right, I'll see you guys next time. I love you guys and all the best. Thank you. The reading was not as bad as I thought it was. It was it was all right. So um, thank you so much, guys. Take care. All the best. Love you.